In this video, we're going to look at the membership lessons page. So this would be the page from the courses page and they click through to a lesson. So you can see here we've brought across the same colors and we've added the video player element here where you could put in your first video lesson that you want the user to see. Over on the right, we've added in some lesson tasks. You could easily take this out if you didn't want to have any tasks and you wanted to actually make the video player bigger and you could put it center. But this area you could use to highlight some particular tasks that you want them to take after the lesson or even what they're going to learn through the lesson. Going further down, where we had the announcements before, we've now used the breadcrumb element to let the user know whereabouts in the course they are. We've added the grading over here, so you can put in the lesson level, whether it's easy, intermediate, or advanced. And we've also added in the lesson length. This time is obviously manually put in based off the time of the video. So you would change this date, sorry, this time, once you know the recording length of each of your videos. So going further down, we've added in the lesson brief here, or you could put in your description, you know, an overall summary of this lesson, what it includes and what they're going to learn. Over on the right, we've added in this percentage bar to give the user some clarity of whereabouts in the lesson process they are and how much more they need to do to complete this course. And we've also added in the button here as well, which you could manually link to your next lesson. Once you've added all your lessons in, you can link this button up to go automatically to the next lesson. Going further down, we've added in these other three elements here to highlight audios and PDFs and transcripts. If you have them available, you can link to them using these three buttons here. You could change out these images as well and put in your own icons, but they're quite good to highlight these areas of a course. People do love PDFs and worksheets, so if you have them, add them into your courses like this. If you make a video, strip out the audio and you could link up here just to the audio so people can download it as an MP3. Going further down, we've added in the FAQ section so people could have their most regular questions answered here. And obviously you could add more or less to this if you wanted. And again on the right, we've kept in that questions form where people can ask you a quick question or any comments they have, they can submit them directly to you. They don't have to try and navigate to a support link to try and find out how they can contact you. All the time making it easy for your customers to ask questions and get in touch just so they know you're on the other end. So this lessons page is a lovely page and once you'd finalized everything on this page and you got it to look how you wanted it to look, you could simply just clone this page again and again, changing maybe the task, changing the links to the next lesson, changing the links to the audios and the transcripts, etc. So this is the membership lessons page. It can be easily customized. It's available for you to download now.